anybody who, dis, who, di, who determines that they want to find a path for themselves can find it and make it for themselves. Once they have, according to the guest speaker, the perseverance, the persistence, and the, and the, and the vision. And any of these young people here tonight can become the Prime Minister of St. Lucia, can become Ministers of Government, can become principals of schools. I want to recognize the principal of the Marshall School or the Bishop's Gashi School who is here tonight. Can become anything they want once they have decided that they will have the discipline, the vision, the persistence to make it to the top. So I want you to give this young people a round of applause to me, please. <laughs> Too many times we hear only about the bad that some young people do. Too many times we hear people say that young people are this, young people in gangs, young people are violent, only negative. But it shows there's only a small part of the young people of this country are in gangs, are violent, and who do not want to do good for themselves. That's a perfect example of the caliber, a perfect example of what the young people of St. Lucia can achieve. I want you again to recognize them. I want to thank the parents. And what was remarkable this afternoon is the parents and the guardians and the relatives of the participants were here this afternoon. Parents, give yourself a round of applause. Because the parents and the guidance, that is what will, will ensure that these young people reach the heights that they want to reach. I want to thank the volunteers, the judges, the quiz master, the people who, who prepared the questions, the coordinator of the, of the entire program, the people in, who, are, who are doing the live streaming, and you, the audience, for being here this afternoon. This is the 16th time I think I've done that. This is the 16th time. I don't know how long I'll do it again because I have my, in my job, there's a lifespan. So I have been lucky. My lifespan has been from 1997 until now. That's been my life, my, my life, my lifespan. I don't know how long it will be again. I know there'll be another test coming on, in the, in, 2026, I don't know what's happening after that. But once I have the strength, once I have the vigor, I will ensure that this math quiz continues into the distant future. So, we're also going to recognize the young people who did well at the it's a new name now. It's called the CPEA. This thing has changed so many times. When I was at school, they called it common entrance. Then when then they changed it to 11 plus, and now it's CPEA. It has changed all the time. So the students who did well, as is normal, we are going to recognize them. So I want to recognize the student from the Bishop Charles Gashe Primary School who is going to St. Mary's College. That's a school I went to a long, long time ago. Um, his name is Kovan de Tourville. Kovan de Tourville. And Kevin will get a tablet, a Lenovo tablet, for his, his prize. Thank you. Then there are the students 
the top performers from the Tiroche Combined School. And from the Tiroche Combined School, there were two, two students who tied, who got the same mark from the Tiroche Combined School. Two students. They got, in fact, Kevin de Terville got 93%. You can, you're the two the students from the Tiroche Combined School, the top performers were Keshan Dal Dalkan. Keshan. And he got 87.20%. And Josiah Joseph. Where's Josian? And she got 87.20% also. Then there is the top performer from the Bocage, the Bocage Combined School. And she is a young lady called Ediana Ramo. She's from the, the Bocage Combined School. And all these young people were chosen by the school. They were chosen on merit. And this is what we have to develop in this country a country of meritocracy, a country where you will get what you deserve once you put in what you have to put in. Not a country of who you know or who knows you. A country of meritocracy. And any, all these young people were chosen because their school thought that they were the best in mathematics and at the CPA, CPEA exams, they did the best in the island. So, strictly meritocracy. That's how they are. And give them a round of applause, thank you. Now, we are going to deal with the quiz, the maths quiz that happened this afternoon. And you saw it was a marathon. That's why I do want to keep it long. It was a marathon. It shows the competitive nature and the caliber of student that we have in Castries East. You know, see? And it also shows, and this is why I'm always against stigmatizing. Stigmatizing people because of where they are, they, they, they are born or where they live. I live just across the road. I live just across the road. If you look out there, you'll see where I live. And if the help of the people of St. Lucia, I've become the Prime Minister of St. Lucia. So anybody here, anybody here can do it if I did it. Anybody can do it. Doesn't matter where you live or where you come from. Is your determination and your desire to achieve and to work hard. So this, the quiz that you saw this afternoon was very competitive. So what I want to do, every one of the participants is going to be given a bag with school supplies. Every one of the participants. But I want to specially recognize the winners of the competition. So the winners of the, of the competition, they will get the first prize winner will get a laptop computer a bag 
of school supplies and a trophy and a monetary prize. The second prize is going to be a, a monetary prize, a trophy, and a bag of school supplies. And the third prize, a monetary prize, a trophy, and a bag of school supplies. And everybody else is going to have a bag of school supplies for the coming school year. So if you, if you come and help me, you come, come down. So we can let, let the participants come first. And the first, second, and third, that's Adrian, Keshan, and Anth. The free state and the, the, the participants come here. The participants, the other participants come. The participants come. Leave the first, second, and third stay in the back and let the participants come. All the other participants. Come. Bag of school supplies. That's the food, that's the food, the black ones are good. Participants. 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 Right. So you just can just wait for it with the first. Now the third, the third person in the competition is Anne Solomon. Anne. Now, we have an issue there. They say that brave men wear pink. Now, I wear pink. I'm brave. Um, parent, would you have yourself a pink bag? So he's not brave. All right. I'll tell you what. If you give us, we'll have to, the food, give it to him? Give it to him? And I change it for you. You want a pink bag, young man? <laughs> you see? You, you, you said it well up already. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let him hold it, and we'll exchange after. Okay? All right. And he's got a trophy. He's got a trophy. And a little monetary prize. Now the second. The second. The second place is Keshan. Keshan. He gets He gets a trophy. He gets his school supplies. <laughs> and he gets a little monetary prize. And Miss Dijon. She gets a laptop. She gets a monetary prize. And she. Sorry. And she gets a 
trophy. So let's give all of them come a round of applause. And wish them a very successful school term as they go to the to secondary school. So, thank you very much. See you next year, the last, the last Saturday before school opens, if God spares our lives, or my life in particular. Tell them, come. Come in front of me, come in front of me, come in front of me.